Hello, Sugar Poultry here, and I'm going to show you how to do quick dragon flames, or this could be used for any kind of flames, really. I have my flame layers here. Um, just some really simple steps to make some nice flames. So first we're going to start out, I will just create a brand new layer. And for my brush, I am using um, Vesner or formerly known as Tenaith. I'll leave a link in the description on where you can download those. So this is the brush. Um, I like it because it's messy and wild, kind of like fire. And that's exactly what I used in this little part right here. So I'm going to recreate this and I'm just going to lightly draw my flames. And you can do cool stuff like have it come out of the, out of the mouth like that, but I'm just going to kind of keep it simple. So, yeah, I'm going to call that good. Um, take your eraser and gently erase around like the fangs or any parts that you want to be considered on the outside. Just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. I'm just using a soft round brush. Okay. So we're going to lock this layer so we can paint within it and not have to worry about anything leaving the painting. Um, use a reference for fire so that you know like what kind of colors and stuff to paint your fire with. Um, the brightest point of the fire is actually white, so you want the white to come right here. And obviously there's oranges and reds and colors like that, and I'm going to just get some of that and I'm going to paint in here. I'm using the default soft brush that comes with Photoshop. And I'll just kind of do that. Maybe add a little bit of red like that. Just keep it real simple. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click the layer, go to blending properties and go to outer glow. And I chose kind of a, an orangey color but you can do reds or yellows or whatever else you're trying to go for. And that's what I did. And then I'm going to create a layer, a new layer on top of that. And I'm going to color it with a bright orange. And I'm just going to use my big soft brush again and I'm just going to paint right over where I want it to be. Then we're going to go to layer properties again, this little drop down menu, and I'm going to go to overlay. And there you have it, and you can play with the op opacity a little bit if you want. You can also erase like around the teeth if you don't want any glare up here on his jaw or anything like that, but I kind of like it. it. It makes it really stand out. If you have a character who has a different colored flame, like let's say your character spews out blue, you can do that, and then the outer layer, just make it blue. It kind of looks like this big green beam is coming out of them. Obviously you can do other things on top of it, you can create another layer, and you can add like sparks or something, or we can get the same brush that we used down here somewhere if I could find it. There it is. We can get this same brush and just kind of create little wisps coming out of it on top. Kind of have the flame maybe leave his mouth a little bit. Kind of go a little bit unstable. <laughs> so yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, just the basic format for this is just to Draw it out, um, lock the layer, paint the white and whatever color your, your uh, flame is, and then create a new layer on top of it and set that layer to overlay. And that's what gives it the glow. Oh, and, and you can do the flames give it an outer glow too. Like this is what it looks like without the outer glow. So that's completely optional. You don't have to have that outer glow. 
I actually think it kind of looks better without it. <laughs> or you can just turn that opacity of the outer glow down. So it's got a little mixture of both. But there you have it. That is uh, how I make my flames for dragons or fire pits or whatever it is you're using for flames, magical wisps or whatever. Uh, yeah, so the brush that I used is in um, the link in the description. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more tutorials like this one, um, I'm considering opening a Patreon. So uh, let me know if you are interested in supporting me as an artist. I'm still working on it, but stuff like this will be available monthly and weekly. Just little tutorials like this on, on how to do basic painting things for fantasy creatures and stuff like that. So thanks. Please like and share and subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you very much for watching.